Yo, what is going on guys, Crimson Hybrid, and you guys, a brand new video. Today I wanted to talk about a really quick topic that's sort of been going around the COD community and is, so the question is, is COD dead? And I'm sort of going to be touching uh, on this topic a little bit myself. I know Nick Merckx himself has touched upon it. Um, at first he believed it wasn't, but now he's he's more than sure that the COD community is going to die if we don't change things around in it. And Team Arden has talked about it. Um, so has Ali. A bunch of people have talked upon this topic, so... I decided to do a little topic now that I've sort of played these games uh, for quite a while. I didn't want to uh, upload a video uh, at the beginning of this because um, um, at the beginning of Infinite and COD, although I did say that uh, at the beginning of Infinite and COD 4, although I did say that um, uh, I, I don't like uh, the Infinite Warfare game. But uh, so now that I've played it, I played some UMGs on it. I kind of I kind of have a little perspective on it. I can tell you guys not so much of a biased opinion i i, I kind of have a feel for the game so um so uh first of all is the reason why nick Merckx said cod 4 is or not cod 4 or actually the cod community in general is dying is because and it's true is that we each so years get divided by xbox ps4 community as you guys know back when uh um up until the point of um i believe it was aw i'm not sure uh cod was a uh, an xbox thing like you would get the dlcs for for them out first you know this this was even a big thing at bo2 because that game was just that's when uh competitive really took off you know activision really knew what they were doing um and you know uh then when the when bo3 came out it was sort of a ps4 thing so it was no longer xbox so now everybody that was on on xbox that wanted to play pro had to move over to the ps4 and maybe in doing so some people you know didn't have enough money to pay for you know get the ps4 on that time you know to start grinding out the new game so they kind of had to wait a little bit later and that kind of cut back on them being able to you know play competitively or do do stuff you know or get the dlc so uh maybe that kind of took a toll on them and they just said you know what cod's not for me i'm i'm just gonna stick to the xbox and you know play regularly you know th there's always going to be umg little tournaments but you know there's not going to be those land tournaments like those big ones that ps4 has now and the xbox had then you know and um and, and, and that whole switch like any like in anything you kind of do lose like a certain amount of people and that even though call, call of duty is a big game and like a lot of people play it the competitive series there's not that many competitive teams and like nick merck said if if somehow cod would stay on one console let's stay let's say they stay on ps4 not because i play ps4 if they stay on xbox it's fine but let's say they stay on xbox or ps4 i feel that over a long period of time we will gain those uh, players back because there won't have to be this switch between xbox and ps4 like every now every now and then for like like every like i don't know how long they do it for like every four or five years i don't know um so yeah, you know, you just have to stay on one console, and then you know, obviously, if the PS if the PS4 gets upgraded to the PS5, I don't know what the new console is gonna be, you know. Well, then there you, you'd have to switch. You get me? And then because if you think about it, it let's say you you were a strict PS3 player, and then you switched over to the, I mean, let's say you were a strict Xbox player, right? You switched over to the PS4, you bought it, and then boom, COD goes back to Xbox. You have to buy an Xbox again. So you know, it 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 just doesn't doesn't work that way you get me not only do you have to get adjusted to the to the to the controller maybe you can buy a ps uh ps uh whatever an xbox controller that adjusts to a whatever the playstation will be at that time you know something like that you could do that um but uh you know it, it just won't be the same and um th this is one of the reasons why i wanted to tell you guys that uh the whole idea i had of me trying to go pro at 18 it's not working out for this main reason it's just that cod uh, th this is a little bit of a different topic, but it, I just feel that COD, when you go pro, you kind of have to play any COD that's given to you, and you really don't have a say in whether you want to play it or not. So if you're in a pro team, you got to play that, that COD. You got to grind it, even if you don't like it. You know, like Infinite Warfare, I, I feel like if even if I did go pro, let's say I'm 18, I go pro, I wouldn't like that game. I, like, I wouldn't want to grind it for the reason being that I feel like on that game, I can't make a difference as an individual player. I just feel like it's a really competitive teamwork game, but it's just really unfair. I just feel like when you kill someone, it 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 really shouldn't have happened that way. I feel like you can't, you don't have control over your character. And like, that's exactly what uh, Ali said. And this is coming from one of 
one of, or if not the biggest uh, uh, Call of Duty content provider, Alie. So, you know, that's got to mean something. And I, I've always said that when this game came out, it feels so unfinished. Me, my, my cousin, and I always repeat that to ourselves. This game feels really unfinished. Infinite Warfare feels like there's just so much missing to it. And it's true. I feel like there is a lot of things missing to it. Now, don't get me wrong. The maps are great. The, the play style is great. The, but the way but the way the, the the your character moves that's one thing that really bugs me now maybe that may not bug other people but for me that's one of the the issues and there may be different issues and that's the, the that's the thing when you have a cod you can't have multiple issues in one game that will cause other players not to play like let's say there was only an issue of that everybody hated the maps that's easy you can resolve it you know change maps you know make them better but when you have an issue that players don't like the way the characters move you don't like um you, you know and uh or, or like how the game looks because if you if you if you go back to bo3 i'll put a picture on the screen you can see the difference between bo3 the color and infinite war for the color it is completely different bo3 makes you want to play that game it's just that colorful i feel like this is when 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 bo2 moved over to ghost ghost had that little had that dim color in it that really annoyed me and and I, I don't know, it, it just wasn't playable for me. I feel like Infinite Warfare is a, is a ghost mixed with an AW. They're, you know, they were both so somewhat good games, but um, I, I can't really touch upon those because I never played... Uh, I, I did play AW, but it was just for sniping and trickshotting, so I don't know how competitive it was, but it was a fun game to play. But, you know, Ghost was fun for pubs, never played a, a competitive, so I can't give you guys, a, you know, a little breakdown of that. But uh, they were both good games to play, but there was just little things that, that you know, made that game uh, hard to play. But, like, like, like even now, I would go, I would really go back and play Competitive Ghost. Because it didn't seem that much of a bad game. I just really didn't touch upon it. Um, I really didn't, uh, like, I really didn't like it at the time. But now I kind of see that it's not that bad of a game. But Infinite Warfare, Infinite Warfare is a game I would not play competitive on. I just really wouldn't. S&D, especially not. That's why I stick to COD 4. COD 4 is a really nice game. I like it. Although you do get killed really easy in this game. You just got to work with it. You know, strats. It really makes you think. It's a cool game. I really like it. Pubs is awesome. IW Pubs is, is good. But the competitive is not really good for it. Because, you know, in Pubs, you're playing with kids that really don't have fingers. So, you know, you don't have to worry much there. But, um, yeah, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. I don't know um, um, what you guys think on this whole situation. I want to know if you guys think IW is a good game. It's a good game or, n or not a good game. You know, uh, it, I, I just really don't think it's it's a good game. Like, I really feel like Call of Duty has been going in a decrease ever since BO2. Like, I mean, BO2 was at the top, and then it's just kind of been going down. And then it kind of went a little bit up with BO3, and then it just completely went back down to to uh, with, with the release of IW. So, um... Yeah, you know, there's many there's many other things that go into being there's many other things that that I can say about it being a bad card for the for one reason is there's a uh, the rigs, the rigs. The rigs re look really ugly. They look so unfinished. It looks like it looks like the underneath skin of what it should be. It looks like they just like, oh, you know, the game the, the game is supposed to come out. Let's just leave it like this and just it looks like a final draft or something. If this would be an essay IW would be the final draft. That's what I'm putting it at. You know, the synaptic on um, on this game, the robot looks so nasty. The head is a triangle. Like, come on, that doesn't look cool. Bo3, the 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 scythe, it looks so dope. The head was like um, amazing. It looked really scary when you played against it. You know, it actually looked like a robot. But it this this game, it it just doesn't. The active camel looks really nasty. It has like wires coming out of its back. You know, like. That just looks like you just went back in time to like a cheaper version like it looks like um how can i put it into perspective it looks like bo3 would be the military and iw would be like th those like those freedom fighters that sort of freedom fighters that sort of make their own outfits that's how that game looks you know it doesn't look good but um that was enough of this uh rant i want to know what you guys think tell me in the comment section if you guys think iw was a good game if you if you if you still play it, if you play umgs you know or even if you're a competitive player on it I personally, I'm personally not a competitive player. I do play competitive on COD 4, you know, just S and D, pretty much. Uh, I'm not that, I'm not that good at it, but I'm, I, I can say like the team I have right now, I'm pretty solid. I actually like it. Like we lose, but you know, it's just little mistakes in this game because it's really all about strats. You know, gun skills sort of come with the game. 
it's not really something you have to learn as it's all boots on ground and you know if you literally put a bullet on him first you're basically dead with stopping power you know unless you get joked which in this game when you get joked you get joked badly but um uh yeah that's all i wanted to say guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to smash that thumbs thumbs up button drop a comment in the comment section below if you guys haven't subscribe it really helps the channel it really helps the channel a lot and it helps me create more fresh content for you guys i know this was a, a well overdue video i should have uploaded this a while back but like i said i didn't play iw that much i've played it a little bit now so i can touch upon the topics but uh yeah if you guys want to see any more videos like this just drop it in the comment section below any other video from any type of topic pc uh ps4 let me know and i'll upload a video but as of right now it's been your boy crims out I don't know. I just butchered that. All right. It's been your boy Crimson. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Adios.